Hello, I am Lisa Hennessy, and this is episode 43 of Knit, Pray, Crochet. So I did quite a bit of knitting this week. I had a busy weekend, so I didn't knit a ton this weekend, but I'm still working on my halter top. I'm getting kind of bored, so I kind of put it aside for a while. Um, I probably have about mm, this much more, three inches, before I get to the under the arm part. And once I divide the front and back, it's going to go a lot quicker. So, I mean, I doubt, I seriously doubt that we'll have this ready next week or finish next week because um, I'm just doing other stuff in between. And then the sweater I made last week that I'm going to donate right here, it's going to go to the homeless. I made a headband. And on the, I'll put the instructions that's shown us. I think I cast on 10 stitches and I knit two, purl across, knit two. And then on the on the other side, I just knit straight across. So I'm pretty sure that's what I did for this. Um, I have to recount. I can't. I think it was ten stitches, but I'll put it in the show notes because it was super easy to make. And then I just kind of it was just one big tube, and um, I sewed it the ends together, and then I wrapped yarn around it. So this is where I sewed it together, and you can't tell because that's the knot I put on there. So did that, and then I finished the baby hat. I was working on this last week. I thought I might be able to get two more hats. This hat plus another one, but no, I will probably get a hair scrunchie with what was left over. But that hat's finished; to, it'll go get donated. And then I was going to make these ties for the caretakers. I was going to make a bunch of them to give to them, but they take a little bit longer than I thought. And if I want to do them as Christmas gifts, then I would probably have enough. Um, but I don't want to do that because I want to give them something now. And this is more of a summer headband because it's holy, you know, it's like lacy. So I'll just probably give these away to people. I, I made the pink one and this one, and so I'll just tag them and just bless somebody in the community that I see it's got their hair pulled back, maybe a, a, a you know a teenage girl or you know a 10 or 12 year old, like, like something like that. So what I thought I'd do is just make a bunch of hair scrunchies with, with yarn that I had that I'm just trying to get rid of. So this was just some, I love this cotton. I had a ball of it. Um, didn't have enough left for too big of one, so this is a smaller scrunchie. And I will put the link to the video of how I made these hair scrunchies. Um, and then this is some really nice, fun, bright, bright colored ones. And then this one I like, it's um, it's just some yarn I've had for a long time that I know I'm not going to make anything out of. I think someone donated it to me. Um, so this is it in the stockinette, and then this is on the garter stitch. And since I have so much of it, maybe I'll do a knit one, purl one, knit two, purl, something like that. In fact, I think on one of these, I did do a knit one, purl one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, this one. I did a knit one, purl one on this one. So that was um, a ribbed one that I did. And it just looks a little bit different. And now I'm working on a gray one. This one I just pretty much knit a couple more rows. And um, I did a, I knit them for two to three inches. And so since I've got quite a bit of this, I'm going to... The caretaker's uniforms are gray and black. And so I thought this would be good to go with it. And these would be too, because they've just got enough of a hint of gray. So I don't know, I'm just going to be working on these and just make a bunch of them, put in a basket to bless them with because they do pull their hair back and wear it up. So I'll be working on these this week. Maybe my sweater, I'll work on a little more. I might bring that with me to knitting um, on Wednesday because I'm sitting for two hours and I should at least get that three inches knit where then I can divide it off. So those are my knitting ones for the week. Did not give any gifts away, um, but I did pray over, you know, this whatever sweet little baby is going to get this. I just pray for the mother to choose life and to, to keep the baby or give it up for adoption, but to choose life. And so that's what I pray and to be raised in a Christian home. So that's what I pray when I make any baby has whether I'm donating or giving them away. That's how I pray over those things. And of course, you know, something like this, I'm just praying for God to warm the um ears and um, soul of whoever wears this because um, this will be passed out to the homeless people. So I mean, those are just some ways I pray for what I'm making. We, the homeless items will do donate sometime in November. These we just kind of donate along the way, the baby has to the Pregnancy Crisis Center. So with that, I'd like to read my devotion this week from nipprayshare.com and it's called Jesus Seeks the Lost. And the scripture is Luke 19.10, for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. And the New Living Translation is, for the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. And I like that, just that little bit of a variation, those who are lost, because Jesus does seek the lost. Thank God he came to find and save all of us that have found him. 
I needed Jesus to rescue me, and I just didn't know it until I found my way back to him 28 years ago. And I just praise God that he was waiting for me. This week, I was listening to a program, and I, I don't remember um, what it was, and I heard a pastor, because I like to channel surf sometimes, um, but the pastor was talking about how once the gospel reaches every corner of the world, all of us are going to be held accountable, All of what because that means you've had access to the word. And there are so many different language Bible translations there are of the Bible, but there's still, I think, something like 2,000 more languages that have to be translated. And I read it, I found an article in Premier Christian News, and it says Wycliffe, which is who translates the Bibles, hopes that in the next 10 to 15 years, 95% of the world's population will have the Bible, and that 99.95% will have a New Testament, and everyone will have access to at least some portion of Scripture. So right now, there's currently 145 million people that have absolutely no access to Scripture. So until every corner of the world has Scripture, then we have, that means we have time. Um, so that, to me, is why there's such an urgency to share Jesus with the lost, because with technology, that could happen before 10 or 15 years. Things can happen a lot quicker because of that. And as followers of Christ, we have the assurance knowing that we will have eternal peace, but one day judgment will happen for those who reject Jesus. And there will come a day when believers will dwell in a new heaven and a new earth, where sin is defeated forever. And I look forward to that day. I want to do whatever I can to make sure that those that don't know Jesus find him because nothing is more important than telling others about our Lord and Savior and what he's done for us and how our lives have changed. Never underestimate your role in God's plan for this. Each believer, every one of us, has a part in sharing the good news of Jesus, and God needs all of us and our gifts to make this happen. It takes the church, all of us together, to reap a harvest. We have an urgent mission to complete. We live with intention to share Jesus with those who God puts in our pathway. Do you have a loved one who is far from the Lord that you've spent years praying for them? And do you feel as if God doesn't hear your prayers? He does. because And he's working in both the physical and spiritual realms. And even when we can't see it, he's working. Either you have faith and believe and cling to that hope, or you believe the lies of the enemy. Why, why, why keep praying? They aren't ever going to change. What, are, what difference are my prayers going to make? They do make a difference. And you don't stop praying because that's what the enemy wants you to do. Everything happens in his perfect timing. You know, I'm not going to keep, stop praying. I'm going to keep praying for God for a heart change for the people that I know that don't know Jesus. And faith requires us to trust in the unseen and reliance on the truth that God is always at work. Now I'd like to end with my prayer. Father God, forgive me when I let insecurity keep me from being a witness to a non-believer. I ask for courage to be bolder in this area of my life. I lift those up to you who don't know or love you. Open up hearts to be captured by Jesus. Continue to draw them to you. I ask for the tools to minister to the lost that you put in my pathway. I pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you again for joining me for episode 43. Keep knitting, praying, crocheting. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, share with me any projects that you think might be quick and easy besides maybe these little hair scrunchies that I can make for the character verse. I'm always looking for quick, easy knits that I can whip up. And I mean, this just makes me feel like I accomplished so much this week. I knit three, six, actually I made seven. Um, I had a church conference this weekend that I went to and I was knitting and I had finished one, but my bag dumped upside down and I thought I put everything in it but I missed one, and so I was really sad because it was really pretty yarn, but that's okay. I still, I've got these and this, and then this is going to be done today. Um, so I'm going to keep working on these and I, my sweater, um, and again, just, you know, ask God to just reveal to you who needs to hear about Jesus this week, and whether you knit or crochet or bake things to give to people, just, you know, pray over it, and um, it's just, this is an opportunity for me to, you know, give a gift to somebody and if they don't know Jesus, maybe they'll ask about him. And, and I'll attach a scripture to this. And I've got tags. I'll put a link to the tags you can download for free and print from my website. God bless you. Have a great week. And I'll see you next week for episode 44.